Hello and welcome to learn about search in WordPress, how it works and how to customize it. I'm Otto Kekäläinen from Seravo, a company specialized in premium hosting and upkeep for WordPress. Our upkeep includes, for example, 24 seven monitoring of all the sites we have and taking care of performance and security and many other things so that our customers can focus on building and running their website. We are not a digital agency, but we work closely with the developers of our customers and we have a wealth of experience from over 4000 sites currently in upkeep and we are glad to share the best experiences, best practices about WordPress. So this presentation is specifically about the most common things our customers ask advice on how to extend the WordPress search, how to get all the meta tags and custom post types and other content included, and how to make it faster. This talk is not about search engine optimization, not about how Google or other search engines index your site, but specifically how the search in WordPress itself works. We take great pride in being listed as the world's fastest WordPress hosting company on ismyhostfastyet.com. It's a leaderboard by Google employees that's based on real world Google Chrome telemetry data on how quickly websites load for real users out there. So let's start with the VP admin. So everybody who's ever used WordPress surely knows that when you go to list or edit your posts or pages or other content, there is a search box in the VP admin for the administrators to search the content. There's not much about this that usually people want to customize, but in the UI you can, for example, open the screen options and extend the number of items shown on the page. If you want to make a search box visible for your visitors, then there's a couple of ways to do it. Many teams have built in configuration settings where you can enable search and in WordPress itself by default, you can add search as a widget from appearance and widgets and add a search box to the footer or sidebar or other places depending on your team. And now since a couple of years back, we also have a Gutenberg block search. So you can add that to any content on your site. And in the Gutenberg block, you can also customize a little bit how the search box itself looks like. Also, even if you don't have a search box on your WordPress website, you should know that WordPress by default supports this S argument. So if you put question mark s equals and some search term that will launch the search on any WordPress site. And this is good to know also, because if you want to have search statistics to see what are the most frequent things people and visitors on your website are viewing, then you probably want to go into your Google Analytics settings and put on the site search tracking and when the, it asks for the query parameter for WordPress, it's just simply S. If you want to further customize the search box, box itself, then there are several filters and hooks you can use as a website developer. And the search form is printed out on the website using the get search form function. And here are links to further documentation how those filters work. If you want to customize the search results page, how the results are viewed to the visitor, then you should add a search.php template to your team. And here you can see as an example, how it looks like in the 2019 standard WordPress theme. So you have a search box and then you have this while have posts loop that goes through all the posts that are in the result set and prints them out using a template. And here are also more links to read more about that 
and you can find all of these links and the whole presentation in the video notes here below. So what if some content is missing? What if the search results don't include everything you want them to include? Then the uh, first question is actually, what is the scope of the standard WordPress search? To find out what it is, we can install the debug bar and then in the VP config define save queries as true and then run a search and from the VP query from the debug bar look what is the contents of VP query and here you can see what it does. What is the actual SQL query that goes to the database to fetch information. So here you can see that it's using like with present signs before and after the search term. And as you can see, the search goes into the post titles, post excerpt and post content and for posts, pages and attachments. And attachment is basically what you have in your, uh, what you have for uploaded media. So if you want to have more post types included, then you should make sure that when you are registering your custom post types that you define the settings, the pub publicity and in particular you have exclude from search needs to be false so that it's included in the search results. And here are links to read more about how to exactly do that. And how about meta fields then? So that's a little bit more tricky. You need to hook into the posts join, posts where and post distinct filters to extend the SQL query a little bit. And for that I don't have an example right here, but we will post that soon in our blog. So I recommend you sign up for Seravos developer newsletter. You can go to seravo.com and in the footer you will find a link how to sign up for our WordPress developer newsletter. So what if it takes a long time to load the results page? This is something people often ask about how to optimize the performance of search. So if your problem is that the search page loads slowly, even with just one single user and one single search, then it's usually because you have lots of content and because of how the default WordPress search is built. So if you look at this SQL query, you can see that it uses this like terms and it has a percent sign before and after the search term. So this means that every time this SQL query runs, it's going to do a full table scan to the database. So if your database or your post VP post table is, for example, one gigabyte, it means that this SQL query will actually read all of that one gigabyte on every search. And the bigger your VP post table is, the slower this will get. And here is how the SQL query looks like if you have two search terms. In this example, Seravo and Demo, it gets even longer and it does even more in the database. So to get this fast, you need to insanely optimize your database. If you're a customer of Seravo, we've already done this for you. But at some point, you will need to change the technology, how this search is done. So our recommended search in the base case where you have a search going into the VP posts table is to start using the MariaDB full text index. So here you can see how you create such an index. This is now a feature of the database itself. So if you have this full text index and then you do your query in the way with the syntax that's visible here then this will query the database full text index and this is going to be very fast because now you are using a built-in search function in the database instead of 
doing a full table scan all the time. Now how to integrate this into WordPress? So the hard way is to learn Finnish and then go to our vppalo.fi blog and read how you do it and then create the index and then create your own custom code for the post search filter so that you rewrite the SQL queries when they are happening. The easy way is to install Relevancy Lite and activate it and out of the box it will do this and take care of the base, basic use case searches going into the VP posts table. And uh, one of our customers had a very large um, VP posts table. It was four gigabytes. And when a single user did a query, it could take up to 20 seconds for the results page to load. And that was obviously completely unusable for the end users. So when we applied this full text index and started using that on the website, the page load time dropped to 0.2 seconds and the SQL query itself just dropped to a couple of milliseconds. So basically it was a thousand times faster with this. So I warmly recommend you use full text indexes if that's your use case, the basic query. And if you are a customer of Servo, we also recommend that you utilize our VP speed test command and you can test your search result page, how quickly it loads by simply giving the URL of the result page as the parameter to VP speed test. And here is an example how it looks like. You can read more about that in our documentation. So what should you do then if the search is fast for a single user, but then when you get more users, it starts to slow down. So for any of these kind of cases where you have a heavy or slow computation or a database query or external API call or anything like that, then what you can do in WordPress, you can save the result in a transient. That's a built-in cache into WordPress. And this is very neat and very useful to solve the cases where you have lots of users and mostly those users are doing the same thing over and over again. So instead of doing the real query all the time, you can save the result for the first user in a VP transient and then deliver that out for the next 10 minutes or half an hour or so. And then it will be very fast for everybody, all the consecutive users. Sometimes people think that the solution to get the fast search in WordPress is to completely outsource it to an external service. But this is not what we would recommend as the first solution. First of all, if your search in WordPress gets slow, that usually means, or that's usually visible only on sites that are very large. And if you have a very large site, then you will gonna need a pretty extensive plan for an external search service. Some examples are Jetpack or Elastic Press, which is using Elastic Search. You can also uh, have your self-hosted Elastic Search server and integrate that with WordPress. And there's also services like Algolia and AdSearch. You can actually even also outsource the search to Google using their custom search page feature. That's a very a quick and dirty solution if you're okay with showing external advertise, advertisement on your result page. But uh, using these external services, you need to keep in mind the architectural challenge there, because if you have lots of content and you have an external service that has the search, it means that you need to send all of your content to this external service. And that is going to consume resources on your WordPress site when it's doing all of this updating to an external service. So it might not be, might not actually make the site that much faster because you have this ex additional extra load as well. So we recommend as the primary solution is to try to s solve the search inside WordPress 
because then the data is also always inside WordPress and there won't be uh, excessive uh, submission of data back and forth to external services. For, the, for solving search inside WordPress, Seravo recommends Relevancy as the best overall WordPress search plugin. If you want to read more about the tools we at Seravo provide to developers, I recommend checking out seravo.com slash docs and also following us on social media for quick small tech tips on how to be a better WordPress developer. We also have quite a lot of more content like this video and regarding performance I re recommend you check out our presentation on improving WordPress performance and how to use PHP profiling to find what are the actual bottlenecks so you can focus on fixing the most like the, those things that actually affect the performance of your site. We have also a great presentation on things WordPress developers should know about databases. You can find this on wordpress.tv and from our YouTube channel. Here are also a couple of more things I recommend you check out if you're interested in WordPress performance. And then before we end, a quick note that slide number 12 was actually a lie. So the SQL query shown there isn't actually what the default WordPress does. It has a slightly more complicated system. So this is actually how it looks like for real. It does a select, uh, select SQL, calc found rows, and then the query, where is the select query. And this doesn't return the results itself. It actually returns just a list of posts and their IDs where the results were. And then after this query, it does select found rows and that actually gets the content. And the reason why WordPress does this is because it wants to know how many results there were so it can render the uh, paging. So if you, for example, want to show the 10 first results first, and then you have an element showing that how many results you have and your uh, and show like a navigation that you can jump to the next page and the third page and fourth page and so on. It needs to know how many pages there are to, to, be, ran to be able to render this element. So it needs this. And this is because of historic legacy for the, to get the same result, to get the number of posts found. It could also be using the count function, which is most of the time much faster and better supported by databases, but because of legacy reasons, it's doing it like this. And uh, unfortunately, there's quite a lot of legacy stuff in WordPress. For example, it's not using native get text and the WordPress core development is still on subversion instead of Git. But let's hope that they have time to address these legacy issues as well. And this is worth mentioning this SQL calc found rows, because if you don't need pagination, then you can use this snippet to get rid of that and in some cases slightly improve the performance of your search. That's all. Please subscribe on our YouTube channel to get more tips.